Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna cover as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna have a look into the hash ribbon indicator and later on we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum then also into the DXY and Nasdaq. And before we start with the content, make sure to claim your $1,000 in bonus over on Bybit. This is the number one platform if you are trading Bitcoin and other altcoins up to 100x leverage. So with small amounts, you can also do some nice gains here. If you want to sign up and claim these $1,000 in bonus, then go down below here in the description, sign up to Bybit with my referral link. And then of course, go to the bonus claim website here. You can then get your bonus once you have uh, put a deposit over on Bybit and for everyone that wants to try out trading bots or do arbitrage Bitscap is the number one platform here you can connect all your exchanges to one platform and then you can run those trading bots and as you can see they are very profitable of course you are not doing big huge gains but like this you can earn some passive money without doing anything and Bitscap is offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. So definitely go and try it out. If after 14 days you are in profits, then you can upgrade to the monthly plan, which is only starting by $19 a month. And this is really cheap for all the features that you get through Bitscap. And also big reminder to Binance, make sure that if you're trading altcoins that you also check out this earn feature over on Binance. If you're interested in Binance, then make sure to open up an account with my referral link down below in the description. Once you have signed up to Binance, you can buy and trade all the altcoins that you want here. And also you can take advantage of the earn feature that Binance is offering because here you can just keep your altcoins or also Bitcoin on the exchange and you will get paid day by day with interests here. So whatever coin you have, you can, for example, choose one of those flexible savings where you can get always access to your cryptos. And meanwhile, you're keeping them here on Binance, you are paid daily with interest. And otherwise, for the longer term, you can also choose here these locked savings where you can lock your cryptos for several days. And then, of course, you get a bit more interest for that. So if you are on Binance or if you want a new Binance account, then open up a new account with my link in the description and then take advantage of this earn program that you have here on Binance. Because I see a lot of people that don't know about this savings program here on Binance because like this, you can also generate some passive money. And now my friends, let's start with the content because uh, Bitcoin currently is still below our ascending broadening wedge. After the breakout yesterday, we have seen that we came to this new support that we in theory have here of around $53,000. And so far we are holding this support. And that of course is a good sign, especially here in the lower timeframes, because if we would continue to create here higher highs now and higher lows, this would be a very bullish sign and this could indicate that we are about to break out higher and once we're starting to close four hour candles above the 200 moving average right here at our next resistance level here of $57,000 then I'm pretty confident that the chances are very high that we could reach these $61,000 and potentially also go higher to create new all-time highs. So the lower time frames are starting to look again more bullish but we're still not out of the woods yet my friends we still have to see what will happen once we are reaching this 57 to 61 thousand dollars area so the four hour time frame in theory is still in an uptrend here since we are now recovering again above the EMA ribbons and also if we go down into the one hour time frame you can see that we bounced exactly the 200 moving average and afterwards we started here this nice breather but as long as we are not breaking again above $55,000 we are still not out of the woods yet and therefore we could still expect some more moves to the downside but the one hour and four hour time frame are in theory back in an uptrend but of course also here we have to see what will happen once we're pushing again towards $55,000. The chances that we're gonna go lower is still here 
but I think we could see another attempt here to go and test 55 to 57 thousand dollars and then we're gonna see what will happen what we need here in the lower time frames especially here in the four hour is a push towards the 200 moving average right here at the resistance of 57 thousand dollars and then also start to close four hour candles above this moving average and above 57 thousand dollars then I think we're good to go with some nice long positions because then we are definitely heading towards $61,000, the potential target of this bounce. And also we could go up to even close the CME gap that we still have here at $62,000. So as long as we are not dropping below this low here of $53,000, I still think there's a very high chance that we could push towards $57,000 to $61,000 in the next coming hours or days. But of course, there are still some warning signs in the bigger time frames, like here the daily, which still could prevent us in going higher than $57,000 because even though for now this breather is still looking healthy because we had some daily closes above the nine daily moving average which currently is here at fifty two thousand six hundred dollars this could be a bullish sign that the nine daily moving average is again our new support moving average you can also see that it's turning back into green and that is always a very good sign and indicates that we could have now the nine daily moving average as a support and we should be again shifted to the upside the only problem is still here the EMA ribbons we are still not able to close daily candles above the EMA ribbons and of course we also have here the 50 and 20 daily moving average right here at 57 thousand dollars that could still act as a resistance so in order to be out of the woods we have to start to close daily candles above fifty seven thousand dollars that would indicate that the bottom is in here and we are heading towards new all-time highs or at least go up to retest the sixty to sixty five thousand dollars area and then we're gonna have to see what will happen but what we want to see right now are those daily closes above fifty seven thousand dollars then i think we could be out of the woods and that of course would also mean that we would bring the rsi back above the 50 level as long as we're trading below the 50 level in the rsi we could in theory still get rejected here and continue to create lower lows here in the daily time frame and that is still possible as long as we are not starting to close daily candles above fifty seven thousand dollars so even though this breather is quite bullish here in the daily time frame and it's good that we are not immediately are getting rejected here at the EMA ribbons and we're still trying to fight this resistance here there are still some big warning signs here in the daily time frame and that's why I also want to cover here the hash ribbon indicator because right now we have a miners capitulation and usually in the past whenever we had this miners capitulation we have seen Bitcoin always go sideways or maybe even have a bigger drop before then the EMA ribbon turned into a buy signal and whenever we're getting these blue dots these buy signals afterwards always we have seen the Bitcoin price starting to pump and that's why in my opinion as long as we are within this miners capitulation the risk is still very high that we could see further continuation to the downside until here we are getting again a buy signal a bullish cross then I think the correction could be over and we could head towards towards a new all time highs very very quickly because also in the past every time that we had here this buy signal for example here we have seen Bitcoin going completely parabolic to the upside the same thing also here buy signal then big pump and also here in March after the corona dump you can see that we were in this miners capitulation phase and then once we had a blue buy signal immediately we started to pump again so it's very likely that during this phase we could see some more continuation to the downside here if we are not able to recover above the 20 daily moving average anytime soon but once we are getting here a buy signal in the hash ribbons then in my opinion it's a time to go all in again and look for big long positions over on Bybit for example. So if here we're getting a buy signal in the hash ribbon indicator I definitely gonna go all in again because I told you guys that here at $55,000 I took a little bit of cash out nothing really to mention about but I took a little bit of profits just to be ready that if we would see here further continuation to the downside potentially to go and retest the 200 daily moving average or the nine monthly moving average that there I gonna go all in again and buy that dip 
with the cash that I'm taking out here because we still have some warning signs even though we have the chance now to push higher but we are in this miners capitulation phase and although if we go over into the monthly time frame I told you that if this month so if today we are not able to close this monthly candle above $60,000 this sell signal in my own indicator is confirmed and therefore the chances are very high that even though we are in our bull market we could still drop down towards a nine monthly moving average which currently is here at around $31,000 and in the worst case scenario even test here the 20 monthly moving average at $20,000. So this would be my bearish scenario if this sell signal would play out during this miners capitulation. Also in the past like here in 2017 you can see that also here we were very overbought and we had also a confirmed sell signal in the same time like we are having right now and that's why in my opinion it's still very likely that we could drop down towards the $31,000 area at least here to retest the nine monthly moving average which also in the past during last bull markets always acted as a very strong support and bounce level until then of course we crossed below this important moving average. So this is the only reason why we could see a potential continuation to the downside if we are failing now to continue to create new all-time highs for Bitcoin because if this lower high is getting confirmed then in my opinion it's very likely that we could even drop down to $31,000 and then there find a bottom and continue our parabolic bull run towards 100k and way higher levels. So long term I am very bullish for Bitcoin but here for the short to mid term I think if here we are gonna confirm this lower high this correction might not over yet and we could face prices again below $50,000 before we continue then to create new all time highs. So let's see how we're gonna close this monthly candle with or without this sell signal. I just want to show it to you because you have to keep that in your radar. And also since we are right now in this miners capitulation phase, I think it's not a bad idea to just wait until here we're getting a buy signal to then go all in again into Bitcoin. And then of course also look for good long opportunities over on Bybit. And now let's have a look also what Ethereum is doing because uh, we are printing again new all time highs my friends and yesterday we also had some dips below this ascending broadening wedge and as you can see right now Ethereum is still trying to push higher and get again above this new resistance or support trend line right here at $2,800. I'm still pretty confident that here we could reach our target of around $2,880 because we are still in this ascending channel here. So I think we still have some room left to the upside but also here we are starting to look a bit exhausted in the daily time frame and as soon as we are getting a sell signal here maybe if we're gonna touch here the top of this channel we could get another sell signal and another retest of the 9 and 20 daily moving average so between $2,500 and $2,400 and then we're gonna have to see what will happen if we're gonna have a big bounce again to the upside and continue our bull market because Ethereum is still looking extremely extremely healthy or if here we are starting to go towards the bottom of this channel which currently is at around $2,200 but as long as we are within this rising channel I'm pretty confident that Ethereum gonna continue here to go higher and higher and create new all-time highs until of course we would lose this support level or Bitcoin would start to have a big drop then I think also here the party could be over but as long as we are within this channel the chances are very high that here we're gonna continue to create a new all-time highs and as I told you all time frames are looking extremely bullish here even in the monthly time frame of course we are very overbought and exhausted but here there is still no signs that we could be topping out at least for now because money flow is still extremely positive and also here there is still no sell signal flashing or anything like that so here I think we still could continue to go higher and higher especially if Bitcoin is able to stabilize at around 50k without any further correction and then once the hash ribbon is flashing to buy 
that then we could see explosive moves also for Bitcoin and of course also in many altcoins as long as the Bitcoin dominance is falling because the Bitcoin dominance is still dropping and as long as we are below the 50 level we could easily see a big waterfall to the downside here and that of course is very much in favor for the altcoins and altcoins like Ethereum for example would very easily outperform Bitcoin as long as the Bitcoin dominance is falling here. So on Ethereum right now, I'm still way more bullish than over in the Bitcoin chart. But as I told you many times already, everything is going to be depending how Bitcoin is going to act here in the next coming days, weeks and months. Because if Bitcoin is taking a bigger dive towards $30,000, that of course would mean that we also going to have big dumps in the altcoin space. Because the altcoins only go up as long as Bitcoin is going sideways or continues to pump. But once here we are seeing a reversal, this of course could be also very dangerous for the altcoins, no matter how bullish the charts are looking. And now let's have a look also into the DXY, because here we are still trading below the 100 daily moving average. So this important support and resistance moving average is right now a confirmed resistance. Here at around $90, we were expecting a bounce since we are still within this ascending broadening wedge. But in theory here for the DXY, we are back in a downtrend and we could face here big waterfalls to the downside if we would lose the $90 level as a support. And that would, of course, fire up a lot the crypto and stock market. And if we go over now into the stock market here into Nasdaq, you can see that right now we are getting some problems here to push higher than $14,000. Currently, we are testing again the 20 daily moving average. So as long as we're closing daily candles above $13,800, the chances are still very high that here we could have a big breakout to the upside. But of course, this ascending triangle would be denied if we would start to lose the support here and start to close daily candles below because in that case we definitely are heading again towards the 50 and 100 daily moving average so towards $13,260 and if this support wouldn't hold we definitely are going down to test the 200 daily moving average here at $12,340. So if Nasdaq wouldn't be able here to push higher and have a big breakout to the upside in my opinion that could be also a bearish sign for the Bitcoin price or for overall the crypto market and therefore we could see this continuation to the downside also for the Bitcoin price before we definitely get a clear bottom and then continue again our bull market. So the conclusion for this video, my friends, is that yes, we have now the chance to potentially go up towards 57 to $61,000. The lower time frames are looking like that we could gear up for such a move. But if here we are getting heavily rejected in this zone, this would be still a lower high in the daily time frame. And that could signal that we're gonna go again towards lower levels before we continue our parabolic bull market. And also based on the hash ribbons, we are in this miners capitulation phase where we could get some more pullbacks before we gear up again for big pumps towards new all time highs. So I definitely gonna update you every day with the hash ribbon as well. As soon as they are flashing to buy, then I think we are good to go again to the upside. But as long as we are in this phase of this miners capitulation, we should be very, very careful, especially if we are entering big long positions over on buy bit all right my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also big shout out to our great discord trading chat if you want to join our community over on discord make sure to use the invitation link that you find down here in the description then you have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot then you have free access to the trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin this is a very powerful tool if you're trading over on bybit or femix with leverage if you want my own indicator you just have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the indicator otherwise just get here directly a youtube membership and contact me over on discord to get access to the live stream indicator so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye